Okay, so we've just seen how to set up a very first site, which just opens the default setting. But one of the interesting things about Django is that we used to create apps inside these apps are effectively the websites that we're going to work on. So let's jump into VS Code. Okay, as you can see, that was the last thing I opened, so everything's open here. I'll open up a new terminal because we're going to use terminal commands to make stuff happen. So from here, right, notice I'm in this folder here. I don't want to be here. I want to be inside the one with manage.py. So as you can see, that's in this side one here. So let's cd into first project site one. If I do a quick ls, there's our manage pi. So I'm in the right location. So always make sure that when you're doing these things, you put stuff into the right spot. So our current system here has one site one section. So let's use Python. And we're going to type in Python manage dot pi. And now we're going to put in our first app. So this will be startup start app and we'll call this guy prime. So if I hit that, what's going to happen is you'll see inside our site, we now have this folder called prime and all these different Python files here. We want to make this work. So what we want to do now is we want to go into the view section. So inside here, we want to basically replace this. So we're going to go from Django.http and we're going to import HTTP response. Then we're going to create a little function. So we're going to say when we go to the index, look for the request. So, and then we're going to return the HTTP response. Now in this particular case, because we're just figuring things out, we're just going to return some text. So say this is the index and we'll save. Now, from here, what we need to do is we now need to create a URL file. So we wanna right click here, go new file, call it urls.py. We wanna go from django.urls import path, and then we'll go from dot, in other words, from this particular folder selection, we want to import views. And then we create what's called a URL pattern. URL patterns equals square bracket. And inside here we say what's going to happen. So our path, so our default path, which is when we go to the index page, so when we go to the URL prime, what we want to see is when you use the index I'm going to go name equals index and put that comma at the end of it. Okay. And we save that. So what happens is when we go to the primes, we're going to come to the prime URL. We're going to come here. It's going to look at it and it's going to return this because this index and this index is going to match up. Now, at the moment, this still isn't quite going to work because our default system site one needs to be modified. So to fix that, we have to go into the URLs here. Now let's scroll down here a little bit and we've got to modify this. So we need to tell the system that we've got to include stuff. So we need include, if I can spell it right, include here. And then after this, we want to put in path bracket. Now here, this is the app that we've just created. So start at prime. We want to get access to Prime, and then we want to tell it to include bracket that Prime dot URLs with a comma at the end, and save. So make sure all of your files are saved, and then from here, let's run up the server. So let's see if we can just up cursor to our one server, like so. So my server's up and running. If I click here. That will open up my browser. Now, notice the default is now complaining about this. It's going, hey, look, you can't see this because there's nothing there to look at. 
That's because we've now taken control and we've started putting stuff in. We have two URLs we can add to it. Prime is the one that we've been working with. So from here, let's put in Prime. And as you'll see here, it pops up and says, this is the index page. If I right click and view the page source, notice it is just pulling back straight text. This is an app and this is a very simple text request. And that's what we'll do for this particular video.